Alright guys, and welcome back to Let's Have Fun with American McGee's Grimm. When we last left off, we had just beaten uh, The Boy Learns What Fear Is. Now, we're moving into the next fairy tale, which is Little Red Riding Hood. And one, I'm very familiar with this, and most of you probably are as well. And so I'm really excited to see what they do with this particular uh this particular tale so let's not waste any time because we know the cutscenes are a little bit long so let's get right into it here's a poser how does little red riding hood a disobedient child with eyesight poor as her judgment escape mutilation from her confrontation with the most feared and hated creature of the forest hmm she wouldn't, of course, but don't tell the brothers Grip. The story begins with a standard mother-daughter conflict. Mother gives daughter detailed instructions and advice, which daughter immediately ignores. Is there a moral here? Little Red Riding Hood, take these cakes and bottle of wine to your grandmother. She's very ill and weak. Don't stray from the path or talk to anyone on the way. With pleasure, Mother. I'll do just as you say. The forest is home to many animals, and not all are fit for pets or food. For delightful and cuddly creatures, I could eat them all up. Good morning, little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed this beautiful day? To visit my grandma, sir, under the three big oak trees. An excellent destination, my dear. Enjoy your journey. Take your time. What a happy thought. I'll collect a butterfly or two and some flowers. Granny will be grateful. <laughs> what a credulous minute. I'm sorry, the, the, the voice for the wolf just there. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. He's on his way to the three oaks. Granny loves flowers. I'll pick a few. She won't even notice if I'm a bit late. Having previously demonstrated the acuity, if not the temperament of a rock, no one should be surprised that Red Riding Hood is outmaneuvered by the wolf when she arrives at a granny's. Come in, little... <coughs> Come in, little Red Riding Hood, and bring the cake and wine. However, did she know what I brought? She sounds as though she's very ill. My granny, I never noticed how big your mouth is, and your grooming. You look nearly wild. Appearances are deceiving, my dear. <laughs> Sometimes. Her cries for mercy were in vain, of course. Mercy was not in the wolf's nature. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood joined her granny in the dark. I've heard of a room for two, but this verges on the incredible. All wolves and pythons have more in common than I imagined. Granny, <laughs> I wonder where you'd got to. I brought cakes and wine. There was a wolf in your bed. What is that smell? Unless I very much miss my guess, my dear. We're in the belly of the beast. Surely not. It stinks worse than our privy. But it's a bit cleaner. That looks like Mrs. Schmidt's arm. Very distinctive tattoo. In perhaps the most far-fetched rescue ever, a lumberjack with an expert sense of lupine anatomy passes by. This worthy naturalist, noting the wolf's belly is dangerously distended, relieves the creature's distress with his scalpel-sharp axe and simultaneously saves both women from the wolf's digestive juices. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? What were you two up to in there, anyway? Very little. It was quite dark. My ears hurt. The wolf gobbled us up. You can't blame a creature for being hungry. I sold him up and let him go. I'm sure he's learned a lesson. <laughs> really? What do you think of that, Grandma? We'll eat the cakes and drink the wine. After I take a hot bath. Yeah, just like nothing happened. <laughs> the wolf learned a lesson, all right. They've all got rocks in their heads. What a crock. I mean, what kind of parent sends a child into the woods alone? What child mistakes a savage wolf for her beloved grandma? And nobody dies? If you'd like to add a bit of flavor and spice to this tasteless, if happy meal, <laughs> on. Oh, we will, Grim. We're going to. Once there was a way to get back home again. 
but not anymore. A simple stroll in the woods can be a walk on the wild side. Tell me that's not a good thing. I'll say you're wrong. Mother sends Little Red Riding Hood to tend her aged granny and implores the child not to dawdle along the way. Isn't that precious? I hate it. Let's fix it. <laughs> Let's move. Let's move. Make it stinky. Oh, I will, Grim. Let's move. Oh, we're going to, my friend. Yeah. Here we go. Fucking, fucking shit up for Little Red Riding Hood. I am looking forward to this. You quit that. Smelly. Stupid little brats. You quit that shit. I'll come back for you. Oh, battle axe again. I like it. We're getting there. Don't worry. We got this. Stomping. <laughs> fucking bats eating that person. Oh, can I turn these fucking kids now? Oh, no, 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 get back here. Yes, I love it. I love turning the kids into fucking evil looking fuckers. Yes, sir. Make it foul. Damn, the gate's like right there and he already is just like foul. Motherfucker, I don't have time. You just make this shit foul right now. Wow, just blowing everything up. All right. How much room do I have? No, quit it. You quit it. No, 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 I said you quit it. We're gonna have foul. You just wait. We're running out of shit to kind of pervert though. Oh, we got all this over here. This should get me to foul. Come on, that's not foul. Oh, come on, Grim. Come on, dude. Foul. Are we not at foul yet? Oh my god, come on. Get out of here. Oh, can I not? Oh, aha! That works. I intend to. Hey. There it is. We're off to see Granny. If we're lucky, she'll expire before we get there. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was that scene. I think we can do one more quick scene. Now, I... I've been told that I've missed a secret... Make it gross. ...coins, and... Let's move. Oh, we will, Grim. And I realized I did... And so if I if I see and apparently they're they're secrets. My girlfriend pointed that out to me. So if I see that again, I will make sure to uh, I guess just walk into the coin. I guess is what I'm supposed to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, right now, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be pretty? No, 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 no. You get away from there. We're gonna make this shit pretty, or we're gonna make this shit the opposite of pretty. Excuse me. Ah, gotta get into the groove. Here, here, let's get, yeah, let's get over here. Let's get some of these. Let's get some of this. There we go. Oh, we're going to, Grim. Oh, we're gonna make this shit gross. Can I turn these fuckers yet? Can I turn them? Oh, they're running. Oh, yeah. Evil fucking squirrels. Come here, fuckers. No more cleaning. I don't care about my score, I just I want to get everything rotten. Rotten as rotten can get. This is, yeah, this is home for me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, a little pee action there. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is, a coin. Okay, so this is apparently a secret. <laughs> it was worth it, because I needed to get that, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, they go all the way into the water. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck this up anymore. I didn't realize they were going all the way into the water. Okay. Does this one go too? No. Okay, good. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Oh. Little Red Riding Hood encounters a wolf in the deep dark woods. No wonder she's not afraid. I have cats 
that look meaner and more dangerous. Make it nasty. God, the emphasis on nasty. I love it. This guy is just so awesome. It's like my my role model for like that vile part of yourself where you're like, I shouldn't be enjoying tainting things or making things look terrible, but I do. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, come on, brambles. Don't fuck my day up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you quit that. You quit making shit going... No, 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 no. I do see now that I actually do lose points, if you will. I'm not a big fan of that. So I gotta... Okay, I gotta get back. They're, they're making shit look pretty again. Where's the nearest fucking thing I can make nasty? Okay, I can make that nasty. I got the wolf looking kind of okay. I gotta get... There we go. I'm going to Grim. Shit. Oh my fucking god. They're fucking... They're dying. They're split in half too. Hey, that looking bad. Hey, Red. I'll pee on her face. Do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, right in her face. Golden shower. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck are you staring at? Get out of here! That's my kind of rabbit. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's going to be good for I think this episode. So I think when we come back, we'll start with the next episode, or the next scene, rather, and we'll proceed from there. And, my God, just this is just too much damn fun. So this is Mr. Casual Scum signing off. You guys, once again, as always, take care of yourselves. Once again, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when I put these videos up. Also does help out a great deal. You guys take care, all right? Later. <laughs>